now we're going to take a question from one of the live audience members here. Tell us your name and your question. Uh, yes, my name is uh, Kristen. Um, and my question to all the cast members is, if you can describe each of your characters with one defining word, what would it be and why? All right, let's go around the horn. Willow, start with you. One word for Prim. Sugar, sugar. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> one word. Uh, uh, I would say nurturing. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> She's just smarter than all of us. <laughs> Sam? No. weird noises going on over <laughs> yeah. here. Um, I'd say, I'd say vulnerable. Oh. Oh. More sounds. Uh, can I say uh, uh, wheelchair bound? Yeah. <laughs> That's one word. It's an hyphen. It's a hyphen. That's that. There we go. Uh -huh. uh, Julianne? I'm trying to think back mm. to the word of the day. Ever. Patient? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's your turn. Pragmatic. Oh, there. Mm. I wish I knew what I know. Natalie. I would have still have to Focus. There's a play on camera. Focus, nice. get it? Yes. 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 I'd say loyal. How about the front row? Uh, I think at this point, broken for Peter. Oh. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> the character's broken. I'm breaking. Jennifer? <laughs> um, courageous. I know it's obvious. What? Uh, methodical? That's great. Yeah. Methodical? Uh, uh, How maternal? about you, Leah? I don't, not maternal. Hungry? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Fool? <laughs> No, great, great answer, courageous. I mean, she, what, would she you is. do any of that? Yes. I wouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> angry, maybe? Yeah. 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 Sure. He's a little angry, a right little frustrated. Yeah. 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 A little frustrated. Okay, now we have another <laughs> video question off of Instagram. Jennifer, listen closely, this one's for you. It's from HG Girl on Fire. Hi, Amy from HGGirlOnFire.com here. And my question is for Jen. In the books, Katniss says that President Snow smells like blood and roses. And so my question is, what does Donald Sutherland smell like? <laughs> Donald Sutherland actually smells like, a, like an oak forest. <laughs> he smells so, it's like, it's like what Christmas would smell like if it wasn't like a specific holiday scent. He smells like trees and masculinity. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's such a, get a whiff of him. I'm not kidding. He smells like fresh pines. And like a bird's nest. <laughs> I'm, I'm so much in love, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Feel my clammy hands. <laughs> okay, let's take another question from the audience here. What is your name and what's your question? My name is Samantha Marshall, and my question is for the cast. If you could play another character, which character would it be and why? All right, Jeffrey, take that one. Who else would you want to play? Oh, um, I couldn't deal with the heels, so um, <laughs> I guess President Coin, I would, you know. <laughs> your heels are pretty, uh, pretty low. I would, yeah, yeah. low. I yeah. Would, maybe authority I could deal with. You're but like I would, secret shoe lips. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, PETA's journey is a fascinating one, um, and particularly uh, in this movie, because uh, the trauma that he's undergoing is specific to what's happened to him in the Capitol, but for me uh, is also a resonant of post-traumatic stress disorder and the consequences of war and, 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 and the consequences of being a warrior which I think was very central to Suzanne Collins' um, uh, desires um, uh, for exploration in these stories. And so that arc is just a really um, uh, resonant one for me. And I think very exciting to play. And I think what Josh does, uh, uh, in, uh, particularly in this film, is really pretty exquisite and powerful and dangerous and, 
and, and thrilling. So um, I want to be Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Exquisite, powerful, and dangerous. Never Don't thought of those three words <laughs> describing your character. OK, so now here's another Facebook question. I'm going to direct this one to Natalie and Sam. This is from McKenna Crumbaugh, who wants to know, in a post-war situation like the Hunger Games, do you think you would have survived as well in District 12 as your characters? My character in District 12? As the characters in the film. <laughs> um, no, probably not. I like food too much. <laughs> Uh, I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say we yes. all like food, apparently. Yeah. But um, no, I, I, uh, I don't know. I think everyone has hardships in life. Um, I've definitely had my fair share, as, as most people, as I say. Um, but, so yeah, I think, I think you, you adapt to survive. Right? You change whatever you need to to survive. And I think, I think I'd be able to adapt. I, and also, I, I'm very unfussy. I don't care about my living living quarters, so I, I think I'd be able to, I think I'd be able to like live British fine in, in the cold this yeah. yeah. How about you? Great. To, to, to survive District 12, could you, the bombing. Could you do it? Yeah, everything that's... If Liam Hemsworth is carrying me into the forest, I'd be proud. You know, he managed to grab one or two people. I was, I would, I'd be one of, one of those people. <laughs> I like that. 